It's it's hard to describe. It's like okay, okay. I'll I'll, I'll make I'll make the bot do do a whiff. Whiff punishing in this game is really hard because if you die, try to do it purely on reaction. A lot of time the move recovers so fast that you can't even like punish it. I I call this I think I'm gonna call this Twitch Twitch react punishing or something like. I don't actually react to the move coming out, I just react to like Ryu starting up the move, and then... Based on where Ryu's positioned, I assume that he's gonna do this move. Like, if I'm right here, it's pretty obvious that Ryu's gonna do this crunch meaning cook. Right? So it's like half reads. It's like, okay, in this position, Ryu always does a crunch meaning cook. So when I see just him twitch, boom! Boom! You know? It's like... Not quite, <laughs> not quite like seeing the move coming out and with finishing it, it's like twitching and using like your knowledge of the game's spacing. A lot of time there's a reason for people pushing buttons. His intention with that button is to make it land. So if you're in the spacing where you're gonna get hit by this, there's a good chance that if you just see Ryu move, he's gonna be doing it. I realized this when I was watching Punk. Punk does this a lot. He doesn't, his whiff finishes look inhuman because they're not pure reaction. It's like half Ryu. It's like, oh, of course Ryu's gonna press that there. So boom, instantly react to just like any movement. Twitch punishing, it's called Twitch punishing. It's not a whiff punish, it's a Twitch punish. You saw in that last match, I did a lot of Twitch punishing. It's really useful. You can, you can make people scared to press one because they, they think you're like a beast. Like, damn, this guy's reacting to everything. But it's really a combination of like reads and spatial awareness. You can usually tell what your opponent's gonna do based on where they are on the screen. Like if Kage's at this range, he's not gonna press any button, right? So if we see him twitch, if we see him move and start up a move, it's gonna be fireball. He's not gonna be buffering. Do I ever get baited? Not really. I think, I don't usually get baited. I just have really, really high level awareness. That's how to whip punish like, like, a, like a top player, basically. Really, really high level recognition of what's available at any moment. It for those those moments. I'd be worse at reading Armika. Nice. 